Open up your MTT and we're going to do a test review for Chapter 6, Systems of Equations. First of all, we're going to solve this system by graphing. We're going to need to put each one of the equations into slope-intercept form. So we're going to start with x plus y is equal to 1, 0 pair out the x, y is equal to negative x plus 1. So our starting point is going to be 0, 1. This is our x and this is our y axis. And we're going to go down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1. Up 1 to the left 1, up 1 to the left 1. Make sure that you show at least 5 points. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take 3x plus 3y is equal to 3. 0 pair out the 3x. 3y is equal to negative 3x plus 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. y is equal to negative x plus 1. And you'll notice that we have the exact same line. If we have the same exact line, then our answer is going to be infinitely many. All right, we're going to start with our starting point of 0, 1. This is our x. This is our y. 0, 1, and we're going to go up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the left 1, down 2 to the left 1. So we have our first line, and then we're going to start at negative 3, 0, negative 3, and we're going to go up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, down 2 to the left 1, down 2 to the left 1. These are going to be parallel lines. Another hint that they're parallel is that they have the same slopes. They're not going to touch, so our solution is no solution. Now we're going to use substitution. So we're looking for an equation that is already solved for one variable. So we're going to go ahead and use that first variable because it's solved for y. We're going to substitute it into the second equation. So we're going to do 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 11, because that's what y equals, and we're going to have equals to 0. So now we're going to go ahead and rainbow. So we have 2x plus 9x minus 33 is equal to 0. We're going to combine the like terms, so we have 11x minus 33 is equal to 0. We're going to 0 pair out the 33. So we have 11x is equal to 33. Divide by 11, divide by 11. Let's move up here. 11x is equal to 33. Divide by 11, divide by 11, so x is equal to 3. Now we're going to go ahead and find y. So we have x is 3. y is equal to 3 times 3 minus 11. So y is equal to 9 minus 11. Add a line, change the sign. y is equal to negative 2. And of course, with all of these, you're going to want to do your mental math check and make sure that the ordered pair works in both equation for the system solution. All right, for substitution. So y equals 2x and y equals 2x minus 4. So because they both equal y, we can set them equal to each other. So 2x is equal to 2x minus 4. We're going to zero pair all of the x's over onto the left side. So those zero pair out, that's going to be 0 is equal to negative 4. So this is going to be no solution. All right, now we're going to take a look at this one. This one probably looks simple enough that we can just use substitution. So y equals 2x. So negative 2x plus 2x is equal to 0. This is 0 is equal to 0, which means our answer is going to be infinitely many. Now we're going to go ahead and use elimination. I have a positive y and I have a negative y, so I'm going to multiply the second equation by 4 to create the 0 pair that I need. So I'm going to have 8x minus 4y is equal to 4, and 6x plus 4y is equal to 22. The y's cancel out, leaving me with 14x is equal to, looks like 26. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and divide by 14. Divide by 14. X is going to be 13 sevenths. So we have 13 sevenths. Now we're going to go ahead and plug that into our second equation. So we have 2 times 13 sevenths minus y is equal to 1. It's going to be 26 sevenths minus y is equal to 1. Zero pair out the 26 sevenths. 26 sevenths. So now we're going to have negative y is equal to negative 19 sevenths because this 1 is going to change to 7 over 7. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, y is going to equal 19 sevenths. And again, you're going to use your calculator, punching in the values for x and y and making sure that they both work for each equation. All right, we're going to go ahead and create a zero pair for the x, so we're going to multiply by negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. So this is going to be negative 2x minus 2y is equal to negative 4. 2x plus 2y is equal to 4. The x's zero pair out. The y's zero pair out, so that leaves zero. Negative 4 plus 4 is zero, so this is going to be infinitely many. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my first equation. x is equal to negative y plus 5 and I'm going to zero pair out the y, so it's going to be x plus y is equal to 5. And then I have negative 5x minus 5y is equal to 11. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply the top one by 5, and I'm going to end up with 5x plus 5y is equal to 25, negative 5x minus 5y is equal to 11. The x's cancel out, the y's cancel out, leaving me with 0, and the 25 plus 11 is going to be 36. Since 0 does not equal 36, the solution is no solution. And that's your test review.